Welcome back everyone to Split Our Farms Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing the Toro Time Cutter 60 inch. Uh, it is the zero turn that we have for our R farm and it has been working out well for us. We'll share our opinions on what we like and our experiences so far and hopefully this will help you make your decision when buying your zero turn. All right, well let's get started. Today we have the Toro 60 inch. We're going to do a quick review on some of the features and what we think about it so far. Um, I think we have about four or five hours on it. So we're, we're relatively new um, at this point in time. You can see this nice large deck. Uh, it cuts great. One thing I like about the Toro is this seat is very comfortable. It's very plush. Um, you can pick it up and adjust the seating. So it's either forward or uh, backwards, whatever. I'm a taller guy, so uh, it's all the way back for me has easy access to swap out your battery, um, clean things up. This engine's pretty powerful. Uh, we've been using it quite heavily. It goes about seven miles an hour, uh, which which is uh, way more than you need. You have the option between the My Ride and the normal system here. And the normal system, if you have a few bumps in your in your grass, you are going to want to buy the My Ride and spend the extra few bucks. It's gonna save your back a lot of pain in the long run. Um, I don't, I don't mind this. It's definitely very rocky. I'd equate it to, you know, climbing rocks with an ATV. And then the my ride is more so, you know, when you're you're in a box truck and uh, you have the suspension under your seat. So the seat itself and its counter uh, foot pad would move independently of the actual machine, so it gives you a smoother ride. So if, if one takeaway you get it, I think that you'd probably be happier with a my ride, uh, zero turn Toro tractor. The 60 inch deck is great. If you have a large property, we spend about 50 minutes, 45 minutes, uh, on four acres here, uh, buzzing through. It's really nice. Another benefit that I really like is you could set the, how, how high you want your grass. Um, and it's very easy. So let me get in here. We have this uh, foot assisted lever that allows you to pick up and place this into whatever you want very easily. And now we're at a three inch. Um, I use, I go down to two and a half. That's typically what I have, but, uh, and then if you don't need it, you can either put it at half a foot, which usually will clear many of the obstacles that you'd see in your yard or with the pins down here, you can easily, there's four pins, you can easily drop the deck off and uh, not have to worry about hitting things if you're, if you're just moving around. Um, for, for my land, uh, we're, we're not having you know, six inch deviations, so it, you're, you're gonna be good with keeping on your, your deck and you can still pull. Um, so this is a very easy add-on has a plug in the back here that you can pull off and connect. There you go. Uh, this is a, I think $200 we got from Tractor Supply. It's fantastic. Um, it has a nice feature as well of automatically dumping. So that makes things easy. One of the cool things that I found um, for this tractor was that these are actually made out of an aluminum um, metal that is more prone to break than the steel itself. Yeah, it, it's it's a pretty nice feature, I believe, in the residential model because me being relatively new to um, uh, the zero turns and not wanting to, you know, stress the frame by hitting a, a bump here, you know, I could, I could drop down into one of these holes and you know, bend the frame. That, that would be pretty costly considering these typically go for a couple thousand dollars and who has that money, right? What happens here is these aluminum components will crack and break off um, opposed to bending your frame and rendering your zero turn, turn useless. So what you can do is just buy a new um, arm and you're, you're good to go again. Another nice thing you can easily adjust the speed of the zero turn so when you have the trailer on like i do right now you have this middle mode which is 
uh, for specifically pulling your trailer. Um, then you have, you know, turtle modes and very slow, and that's gonna, you kinda wanna use that when you're getting started with the zero turn or, you know, moving around places that is pretty bumpy because you don't want to be buzzing through that um, and break an item. But the, uh, the 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 rabbit here, it, boy, this thing can move. You, the dogs also love chasing it. Um, but I wouldn't suggest having the dogs out because it is a very dangerous machine. If somehow they ended up underneath there, um, you can see the blades are quite sharp. But thankfully, it comes with this blade cover. So far, so good on the blade cover. I've seen a lot of reviews of people saying that it uh, it snapped off very easily. Uh, so far, it's held up. I've hit a few things. You, you can see um, there's no real damage. Another feature that I like about the Toro Time Cutter is the add-on of this little uh, hose connection. So what I would do is put my hose in get started here all right so now my hose is connected when I engage the grass cutting pull this up that is gonna spin the blades and because the water's on it's gonna clean underneath the deck for me and then okay this comes with one and that one will clean this side it's nice and easy that just pull pull grip go to the other side plug it in it's running and it has a inside here you can't really see but this has to be pressed in in order for the water to come out so you could easily transfer from one side to the other without turning the hose off pretty cool the machine won't start unless the um, control arms are in the out position so it's in neutral there's no moving um, you turn the key over there to start it then you bring these in towards you and then it will be forward is forward and back is back very straightforward um, left and right is based on the levers as well and again uh, the we, we chose this due to our acreage. You can look online to see what models fits your needs. Uh, we have three acres of grass here, and this is right there. Uh, Toro Time Cutter 60 inch is recommended for three to four acres of land. Um, so we can do that easily with this, as well as use the uh, added trailer add-on um, to pick up, uh, you know, st pick up sticks, uh, logs, and other things that might be in our in our yard uh, while we're cutting the grass. So. All, all in all, I would suggest it. I like it, and I will give a further review video after we've had it for a couple hundred hours. That's all from Split Hour Farm.